Rejoice, it's the Blender Market Sale. And here are my top picks for all of the add-ons that you might want to look at. The majority of these have got links in the description at the bottom, and these are affiliate links, so if you do use these to buy them, it will cost you no extra, and it's in the sale, but it'll also give a little bit of money to help support the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. The first and probably the most vital that I would suggest you purchase is Hard Ops and Box Cutter. These are probably the go-to add-ons for hard surface modeling, and they work amazingly in combination with each other. There's a link in the description of the video and you can see what they do in the videos that are playing. They allow you to cut out segments of a mesh, that's box cutter, and they allow you to do it in a variety of different ways. You can either boolean it away, you can add to the mesh, you can add in things like bevels or just a simple inset, which while I say simple, is actually very hard to do and requires a lot of work if you're not using box cutter. And it allows you to add arrays to your objects or your cutters, which make them really invaluable for speeding up your workflow. There's a link in the description of a playlist where I go through this in detail and what you can do with box cutter. But honestly, if you're gonna get one thing that saves you time, this should be it. Cable Rate is my second pick just because of the amount of time that it is going to save you when doing anything for sci-fi modelling. You can create cables manually by yourself, but it's always a pain in the ass having to deal with all of these origins, moving things around, rotations and the inevitable annoyances that, that brings with it. Cable Rater does away with all of that in one easy package that's easy to control. And not only that, allows you to create cables that have multiple different textures to them, such as rib cables, multiple cables that are not joined together, multiple cables that are joined together, multiple cables that go into different sockets. It allows you to do connectors and bindings around those cables. It will simulate gravity so that your cables will look accurate. And it allows you to do sleeves around multiple cables, which is absolutely fantastic and can also be used for doing things like grips on weapons. An absolutely amazing add-on and well worth going out and getting. Just Panels does exactly what it says. It makes panels and it makes them very well. It allows you to take an object and then turn it into a panel on another object in a similar way to a Boolean, with the exception that it allows you to control the thickness, the depth, and the bevel of each aspect of your panel line. It also does this well working across multiple edges, such as corners, and importantly, it includes a feature that allows it to work for 3D printing, meaning that you don't have to worry about your mesh and being manifold afterwards, which is something that not even box cutter and hard ops can claim. However, it does work even better with hard ops and box cutter, allowing you to do things like aircraft style panel lining or be able to add sub panels and brakes really quickly into your workflow. Finally, it comes with a load of additional kit ops objects if you use that as well. This is an add-on that only came out just before Christmas and it is fast becoming one of my favourites. So construction lines might not be as big as some of the other ones that I've covered like Hard Ops and Box Cutter and it brings some fantastic tools to the Blender workflow. Most of these are very similar if you've ever used SketchUp before, which is a program largely used to design architecture. It has a lot of great features such as being able to draw objects from scratch and that allows you to use things like arcs and lines that are measured to exact measurements. It also has a snapping feature that's vastly superior to Blender's in terms of being able to move objects around and snapping them to particular points on other objects. Finally, it has a duplication feature similar to arrays, except for it also will work backwards, where you will put in a final length and then divide that up into the amount of arrays you want, being particularly useful when you have a start and end point in mind and then want to divide an array evenly between that. All in all, an amazing add-on and even cheaper in the Blender sale. Go check it out. The final add-on I wanted to mention is Mesh Machine, the paid-for brother of machine tools, which is an amazing free add-on. This is the most expensive one on the list. That might be more of a reason to go for it when the Blender sale is on. And it is a little bit niche, but I will say it is incredibly powerful, allowing you to do things like unbevel or unchamfer edges, change the bevel and chamfer on other edges, and be able to deal with Booleans and Boolean cleanup in a way that just seems miraculous. It really is useful if you're gonna do a lot of hard surface modeling and it is something I've used in a few videos but I haven't done a dedicated video on. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you think it is worth it or not but it's something that I find I use very regularly on actual projects.